Most people in America are familiar with what is and isn't their property, what is and isn't their scripting, what is and isn't their intellectual visioning, and what is and isn't their copywritten word or artwork. If you are not familiar with those terms, then as an adult, you have the right to look them up online through your whatever your preferred search engine is, or go to the library and choose some books with the help of a librarian that can help you process where to find them. If you're unfamiliar with your local library, I encourage you to go there. But what I can tell you about people who steal from other people is that they are immoral as well as illegal. What I can tell you about people who put their hands in people's pockets while they're sleeping is that they are immoral and also illegal. What I can tell you about people who steal off of people's signs by taking photographs of those signs and then copying them down and then claiming that they're theirs, it is both immoral and illegal. What we know about people who are immoral and illegal is that they often taint the barrel. What we know from the old wives' tales, the old proverbs, the old stories of old is that one bad apple ruins the barrel. So what we know is that someone who is doing something immoral and illegal and sees himself as a mastermind wants to take other people down to the gutter beside him. And that is immoral and illegal. So anyone who is peddling drugs is immoral and illegal. Anyone pilfering people's property is both immoral and illegal. Anyone resizing someone's clothes in a sex-based hate crime is both immoral and incredibly illegal. People who are participating in a physical assault and sexual assault and religious assault are all immoral and also illegal. You see, people don't think about what their behavior choices create in terms of what is and isn't moral and what is and isn't illegal or legal is not true. They just think that they're going to get away with it before other people and even you. A lot of times we see things that we think, hmm, that doesn't look right to me, but I don't know who to tell about it, you see. And so in my case, when I share my stories, it allows anyone who is doing their job correctly in law enforcement to start to pay attention to the players in these networks. A player's network is someone who passes along information that is probably illegal for them to have and definitely immoral for them to pass because a gossip always ruins a person's life. Whether the gossip is factual or fictitious, it doesn't matter. What matters is their intention of passing it. If they're passing a referral to say, this is a great business person, please look to them if you need XYZ services, that is not illegal and that is not immoral. But if you're passing information about someone's privacy rights, medical rights, or business rights, or any type of rights of an individual's life that don't belong to you, then that is extremely immoral before God's house and highly illegal under most laws governing all those areas of life.